Hello guys and welcome back to another video. So many of you have had experiences with replacing the MCU1 by MCU2 and then we saw the issue that the camera, the backup camera becomes utterly useless at night. Let me show you what I mean. So this is what the lighting on my driveway currently looks like. So it is lit a little bit and that is because we have that uh, street light just in front of our house but now let's see what it looks like from the inside so this is the view that i have on the screen when uh, backing up and i'm facing the house now so what you see behind me is the street and currently the brake lights are on so if we turn those off <coughs> This is what I get to see, so that is not a lot that uh, you can see. And as soon as you hit the brakes, then you get a little bit of necessary light to see what is behind the car. Now this is me reversing onto the driveway. And you can see that the backup camera is uh, yeah, it's pretty useless. You can see the wall, of course, behind me from the backup light but uh, yeah everything else the ground that is just not visible at all and it gets even worse when i want to back up into the parking space next to the house it is uh, narrow and i have to watch out for the gate but uh, yeah this is what I'm seeing on the screen and it's not really visible so if I turn on the brakes then of course I can see what is happening behind me but uh, as long as I'm not doing that yeah that is uh, not really handy to park so even with the reverse light that is happening so uh, if I were to turn off the reverse light like this it's even less visible you can't even see the gate at this point now there is a little light at the end of this darkness because Tesla is fully aware of this issue and they even sent a ranger to my house to check on the backup camera part just in case they needed to replace it but still they are very adamant that they will fix it with a firmware update now my friend Sam Dominic he actually reached out to Tesla once more, just as I do every couple of weeks. And he got a response from the service center that basically says, as per the backup camera poor quality, our diagnostic team is aware and improvements are on schedule for firmware version 2021.4, subject to change if validation fails. So that means that they are in fact working on it. They are still aiming to release a firmware version and 2021.4 that is the fourth week of uh, 2021 so by the end of january so it's the build of the fourth week then they need to validate it and then by the end of january or maybe early february we will be getting that specific firmware version so for those that are still with that dark backup camera there is hope that it will be solved in the next firmware update so Fingers crossed and let's hope that finally the backup camera works as expected and works like before where it was really good in dark places and dark areas. Now I'm sure some of you will think or will say well you can put a light on the side of your house or in the front of your house with some kind of uh, motion sensor or whatever. I do have a light next to my house but that's not the point because there are dark places for supercharger parkings for example or just dark places where you need to park at night so this is just an example but the struggle is real and the side repeater cameras are at the moment actually a lot better in quality at night than the main backup camera so it is a problem and it is a problem that needs to be solved especially since before the MCU upgrade everything was working just fine and the clarity of the backup camera was awesome so there you have it, Tesla is acknowledging the problem and is in fact working on it 
and let's hope that as they say in update 21.4 they will actually um, get this fixed so as usual if you like the video please give it a thumbs up and don't forget to subscribe and make sure you click that little bell icon so you don't miss out on any new videos and for now thanks for watching see you guys in the next one bye bye